think we need to try Bohemians more. So what's with Bohemians again? Blacksmith, monasteries, and universities cost 100 wood less. Chemistry, hand cannons, and castle age. Spearman line, 25% bonus damage. Fervor sanctity effect villagers. Mining camp technologies for free. Okay. Poles against the Turks. Uh, I'm still... I'm still... What? Oh, I never confirmed my sieve. I'm Poles again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was supposed to be Bohemians. <laughs> Uh, okay, is there anything else to try with these? I think their bonuses are kind of generic. Uh, obviously, not generic bonuses, but like the way they support the civilization feels like you. No matter what you do, your bonuses kind of support you. Um, it's just like overall solid bonuses, I would say. We kind of used all the bonuses last. Oh yeah, there's also the team bonus of extra one plus attack against archers. That certainly helped uh, last game as well. I have a question. Do does the AOE damage? So you have trample damage, right? Do you get bonus damage on the trample damage as well? That, like so, the extra AOE damage you do. Do you get bonus damage on that? Okay, no, okay. Um, yeah, so... Skirmisher, Obuk is probably going to be an interesting composition due to Obuk removing armor and Skirmishers being cheap and they can still deal, deal damage. These Turks... Yeah, maybe something in that direction makes sense. Sikona. Rozkazania. Rozkazania. Tak, jestem sprawiaczką. Tak też uczyniłem. Jestem sprawiaczką. Gotowa jest. Gotowa jest. I'm learning Polish as we speak. Gotowa jest. Gotowa jest. That was a long sentence. There's some long sentences in there. Where the hell do I place my mill here? Just something like that. Sicilian, try play, please. You want to see the Sicilian uh, extra armor on the Cavalier? Is that what you want to see? Uh, Kermit, thank you for the four. Jorge, 170909, thank you for the prime in 10 months. You think Bohemians are weak? First impressions are no, that they're not weak. Like I, I still don't think people realize how strong that free mining upgrades thing is, because you get all mining upgrades for free. Like think about, think about um, Malians who got gold mining upgrade for free. That alone was very strong. And now you have a civilization that gets gold and stone mining upgrade for free. And the secondary ones as well. Malians only got the first gold upgrade for free. It's um it's quite quite huge. 
still don't know what I'm doing, really. I think I just open scouts. Open scouts and kind of just see what, where it takes us. But long term, I definitely want to end up with some Obuk play. Please test the Byzantine Spree Town Patrol. That's that's one that has to be checked out for sure. Abjet uh, Renadius, we are done with campaigns. Cheeky guy, luring deer. Greedy guy. I help you, I help you. Never mind, just kidding. Oh my god, they did a long distance mine. That is not how you do it. Uh, they did a long distance chop. Sorry. Hi, Viper. Do you like beaches? Do you like beaches? Do you like beaches? We tried this kind of night yet? Uh, we tried it last game. Mr. Steal your kill. Try that the last game and it feels pretty solid. Pretty solid. It seems pretty much fully walled already. I'm not sure if I... I think what I will end up doing here is just defensive scouts pretty much. Because to me it looks like he's covered all his sides already. I will just do this. We get some free food. Picking in. I mean, we, we get 20, what's it, 20, 22 food, 22 and a half. So f for two farms, we get 45 food uh, when we drop them. That's a pretty nice boost just to casually get them like in the early feudal age and things like that. 25? Is it 25? How's it 25? <laughs> There is 225 food on the... Oh, it's a 250. Oh my god, I'm, I'm stupid. I, I don't know how to math. I think I got a decent trade there in the end, with my, my scout being trapped inside. Can't complain. Wait, there's 225. Oh! Oh, I didn't know it actually takes from the food as well. That's why it confused me. So it, it subtracts the food. I thought you just got additional food on top of that. But if it subtracts the food as well? Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. This will be quite a calm game, I reckon. I don't think uh, either of us will be able to do much damage. I mean, I for sure won't. But I don't know about him. Immediately collected. Yeah, makes sense. I, I don't know, for some reason I had it in my mind that you get extra. That you drop that and then it's it's bonus food on top of. Oh, there's a spear. Ah, oh, misclicking the spear. Feels, feels spear, man. Mm. I guess I'm happy with that trade in the end. Tak, 
Yeah, taking stone and dropping town centers is awkward here. I could have TC on the front. Very awkward. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that it was collected from the bank of the food. It's always good to know. Don't see range. He has a nice map. Woodlines, three woodlines, the gold in the back. Pretty nice. Will you play a Red Bull Bowl of Five? Yes, I will. Hmm, I'm not really sure how to approach this. I need to figure out what he's doing. I'm gonna take it from there. Can you explain about that thunder mail? Um, what it does is essentially it gives you... It gives you extra... Okay, it doesn't give you anything in particular. But when you finish a farm around the full work, you will instantly get 10% of what that farm contains. So if the farm has 100 food, you will instantly deposit 10 food into your bank as the 10%. And it removes that amount of food from the farm. And on top of that, it also works as a, it also gives you 5 extra population. So yeah, there's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice building for sure. It's six. It's three point three tiles. So um, it's um, it takes up a bit more space, which can which can potentially push your villagers and such to be more exposed. But yeah. Mm, bad timing here. Okay, he stopped. Don't see any upgrades. Now the issue for me now is I don't know if he's going... Hey, I guess it's gonna be cow archers. Still has zero upgrades. I mean, he has bloodlines, right? And no other upgrades. So that kind of screams. Cav archers. So I'll have to find out how I want to deal with that. Thinking I might go for skirmishers now. And then try to transition to. Um, Better transition to Obuk in the long run. Yeah, there's the couches. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some investments here now. Do you already have ballistics? No. Uh, okay, I probably cannot do that. That was a nice move by him. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward situation for me. When I say a bit of an awkward situation, I mean very awkward situation. I just have to commit. 
Get rid of that thing. No, I think I, I think I still have a village elite or a decent village elite. He might just run in here. But the issue for me is getting elite skirm and such. But I can drop a castle now. I do believe he is building siege of some sort. Oh, that timing. Oh, that's a bit of an awkward timing. Very awkward timing indeed. <laughs> uh, you might get it up though. In the end. Let's do a market. Let's do university. We need all these things. If I get Bald Canero, I would be okay ish here. Even that, I'm having issues getting those resources. Yeah, he might evacuate now. Or give up trying to deal damage there at least. What? I just invested on another castle. Yeah, let's do that. He's forcing our hand. Don't like it. Uh, one. Okay, I cannot fit. Yeah, we can fit one. Ah, but then we don't get the other side. Man, this is gonna be my life now. Trying to find out where I can fit. Uh, full works. No, I just messed up another full work. Damn it! We have ballistics as well. We're fine for the time being. But it's still very awkward. Very, very awkward. All your legends trying to build farms. Yes, sir. I have ballistic there, so I might be able to get a kill or two. Even more. Three kills. <laughs> Mm. Is he going imp? I'm committing. I'm committing. We're going all out cast ledge. Ah, how can I not place farms? Could you explain why you will build farms in between two fall work? Because I'm stupid, okay? It wasn't part of the plan. Okay? I didn't actually want to do it. I'm gonna make a move soon that some people might call a pro gamer move. So just stay tuned for that. Okay, well, now that's just not okay, bro. Yes, 
He's in the privilege, bros. I gotta do this. So this is the so-called pro gamer move, where you uh, do this thing. And it might be a disaster, might have a happy ending. That's the thing we don't really know until we, we know, right? But no matter what, it will remain a pro gamer move uh, till the end of time. And uh, you can clearly see here that it's it is uh, becoming that thing that one might call a pro gamer move, as you can see. The question we have right now is how much how much economy does he have behind this did anyone doubt that move was there actually any of you were thinking oh my god he's throwing so I will let you know that you sir probably don't qualify as a pro gamer oh look at this guy hussar with no armor <laughs> uh, oh shit you know what let's fight take as many of these horse boys with us as as we go down what we have to do is this he has villagers somewhere down there and i cannot allow them to stay I doubted you, but that pro gamer move was sick. Well played. Thank you, thank you. Get out of the ram, Obuk. And go remove the armor of our opponents. Actually, you guys can go over there. So we got to play the what we wanted to try, like the Obuk, Obuk uh, skirmisher kind of composition. Obuk ignores armor. No, no. Obuk does not ignore armor. Uh, what the Obuk does is it removes plus one plus one armor every hit it does. So essentially it removes armor, you can say. I never had plus two armor on my Obuk. See how this armor is disappearing as my Obuk is fighting. Uh, that's what the Obuk does forever. Uh, if I heard correctly or read correctly somewhere, the armor will be gone until uh, until the unit is back to full HP. If you damage a unit and then he regenerates that HP, goes back to full HP, then I think the armor comes back. What's my siege tech like again? Bomber cannon, siege ram. Oof. Not bad. Not bad at all. This will be a bad fight for me.
800-600. Solid. Good thing is, now, if this all goes to hell, for some reason, at some point, we can transition to Winged Hussar. So, it's, it's still pretty damn solid. Okay, we have done arson, we have elite obok. Let's see how much to do against buildings. Wow! That's pretty damn solid, actually. Consider me impressed. Okay, we will need more golden stone. All of that stuff. Oh, I haven't used this full work yet. No, that's the issue with full work. Wait, why do I have bills there? You guys are not supposed to be there. That's a misclick. I maxed out, yet I feel like I'm not maxed out. You know? I know I'm maxed out right now, but it doesn't feel that way. I'd never have wood for what I need. Yeah, the Furiko is... I mean, it looks ridiculous, right? But I, keep in mind, I also don't have... I don't have... I'm not spending much food. The Oba costs 55. What? How are we taking such a good trade? I thought we were going to get a wreck that trade. We're actually taking a good trade in the end. Sick. Never have wood. Well, here's that's where my army is, I guess. Roskazania. Is the winged hazard time? I'm, I'm transitioning into it, but I would like to stick with with the Obuk skirmisher composition, just to see how it feels like. But I will make a transition that allows me to move into. Oh man! That allows. I mean, these Obuk are strong, man. I mean, they do have a 95 HP, which is a really good amount for for infantry units. Um, <laughs> the Obok just removes the armor and the skirmishers clean up. Even the trebuchet loses armor. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, and yeah, we do have wing clusters now. If we need them. Trebuchet is a tanky, bro. If only we had an armor, that, a unit that removes armor. Oh, it's so close yet so far away. I think that's the GG. I kind of stopped my queen for a sec. Yeah, like an Obuk against, like infantry against infantry, or melee unit against melee unit. I would say the Obuk should win against every unit except like these absolute powerhouses like Elephants, Paladin, probably Cavalier they lose against as well. 
But against Hustar, they would absolutely crush them. Uh, they'll crush Champion. They'll crush any type of trash units. Oh, they might lose against like Samurai, Cataphracts, these counter units as well. Teutonic Knights as well, potentially. Because the Teutonic Knights have so much damage output. But it feels like a very good unit, especially considering the cost. 55, 55 food, 20 gold. That's... Let's compare. Berserk, I think, is 35 gold, right? No, it's only 25 gold. Okay. But it's 15 more... No, 10 more food and 5 more gold for Berserk. Teutonic Knight, way more expensive, obviously. I think the Obik wins cost-effectively, right? Any other infantry wins? Just obviously, the Boyer would probably own the... Own the Obik. Sergeant... And less HP, less at no more attack. They will also lose, and they're also more expensive. So I would say Obok at the moment feels like a very good unit. Feels like a very good unit. It's also the fact that it allows, even if you're fighting a heavy ar unit, heavy armored unit. If you have support units behind you in forms of hand cannoneers, skirmishers, arbalest, longbows, whatever your ally has or you have, the fact that the obok just hitting two or three times a unit removes pretty much all the armor, meaning everything will do so much more damage to every unit. Just makes it such a powerful unit, especially when it has that much HP as well. It means it will stay alive way longer than other units does. That unit might... It's early days. Very early days. But it feels like a very good unit. And who knows. It might be... I'm not going to say it, it should be changed right now. But I would predict that it might get changed in the future. Let's put it like that. But obviously still, very early day. Very early days for, for my impressions. <laughs>